The new generation of the A-Class is intended to mark a change of generations for Mercedes in more ways than one. The car maker is targeting a younger clientele for this new addition to the family. The new A-Class also comes with new dimensions, 41 centimeters longer, 1.5 wider, and 16 centimeters lower. Those new vital statistics give the model a sportier, more dynamic look than its predecessor, and the suspension translates that dynamism onto the road. This, together with the parameter-assisted speed-sensitive power steering, makes this car a swift but safe mover at all speeds. We tested the A250 with 155 kilowatts of power. Official fuel consumption is 6.2 liters. Top speed is 240 kilometers an hour. And it makes the dash from 0 to 100 in 6.6 .6 seconds. Our car reviewer Mark is also totally surprised. If someone had told him 10 years ago that he'd be driving an A-Class this fast around the cones, he wouldn't have believed them. It looks very dynamic and is very dynamic. 41 centimeters longer and 16 centimeters lower. These extreme changes mean radical changes on the design front. The new addition has daring contours all over, and the result is a very sporty character. As for the rear, horizontal edges and lines provide a chunky, athletic look, underscored by the mean-looking single-section lights. The design was very open from the start, explains product manager Natanael Sianta. The designers and R&D people were given a blank sheet of paper and work with an eye to how market segments are developing worldwide. The interior is lush, almost nicer than the C-Class above it. Mercedes went a tad over the top with the design, however. The fake carbon elements and beefier air ducts for a tougher look don't really cut it, but the sat-nav does have internet access. The hatch can pack in 341 to 1,157 liters. Not bad, but no match for the cargo capacity of the old generation. This is more a fun mobile than people carrier, but if you're not out on family vacations, then you should have ample space. Mark is taken aback by how much he likes this A-Class, but as for Mercedes' plans to replace its old clientele with a completely new generation, he's not so sure whether it will succeed. The big question, is Mercedes genuinely cool? This car might represent a kind of revolution for Mercedes, but we've seen a similar thing before with the BMW 1 Series, for example, or the Audi A3. Then there's the price. The young target clientele will have to shell out an extra 3,000 euros for the new A-Class entry model, 24 grand instead of 21. The revamped compact goes on sale in Germany in September. <laughs>